So, okay, tell me this. What is the most important thing that success has taught you? Success tells you, teaches you to be humble in life. Uh, Wonderful, and I'm sure all of you will agree with me that he is. He has so much humility, and he's such a humble person in spite of uh, achieving so much. What you have learnt is humility. Not everybody has that kind of humility after no, success. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you, as human beings, we are the most complex creatures. German Shepherd. Maybe there are five of us who have German Shepherd. Usually, their characters are quite the same. You, know, you may have a lab. Labs are quite the same. We are the only person where two siblings, born as twins, will have very different characters. You know, we study the same syllabus in school. CBSC me padhai ki ye 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 hamare courses hai. But what happens? Exam hota hai, same teacher padha rahi hai sab kuch. But the results are very different. Yes. So why cricket is so close to life is you score a hundred today, and the very next game you get out on a zero. So I personally always say cricket is a great leveler. Level it levels you up. Sure. You know, you start flying high, it brings you down. And the thing, it's more of a mental game than a physical game. You know, it's the mind that is much more stronger. And these are the things that you keep teaching the youngsters, even if they are not a sports person. That if you are able to control your mind, you can actually do a lot of things better in life. Because mind is the most powerful thing. We all think it's the physical. It's the physical. I am tired. I can't run more. It's the mind that is telling the body you can't run. That's right. So, what cricket teaches you is to be humble in life. Or I would say the syllabus that is. Covered by cricket, of course they are individual who pick what they want to pick. It is glamorous, yes, it is glamorous. To be humble is more important to be part of the glamour. So the small, small thing, the hard work, the discipline, you know, the honesty. The good thing with cricketers, or the bad thing with cricketers or sports people is, first of all, we get a chance, which is a good thing. We get a chance to represent the country. You know, but the only problem is you can only represent the country for a period of time. It may be three years, it may be five years, it may be fifteen years. So you know, once you have finished your cricketing career or sports career, you can no longer represent your country unless you start doing something else. You know, which happens to be on that lines. Whenever I am going out representing my country, I want to give it my best shot. You know, it's not about the expectation that others have from me. For me, it's all about what good I can do, how well I can contribute, and you you take keep uh, you keep taking it forward. Once you are, if you make your debut, you are different. Once you reach a stage where your career is ending, then it's not only about your performance. You have to make sure that others who are part of the team, the youngsters, they get the right guidance so that they are the ones who will take care of the future of cricket or sports. So. There are other kind of responsibilities that fall uh, in front of you, but overall, I always felt country was the uh, the biggest uh, motivation for me. It was never uh, about scoring runs or taking wickets. You know, it was more about the team should do well and we should win the games, and that always helped because it kept things very simple. You know, once you start getting into the groove of I want to score runs, I want to take wickets, I want to do this, I want. We play a team sport. So for us, it's always about you know all of us moving together, and you know what is something that you can do, but maybe some of the others can't do. To realize all of that and then to move forward, taking that added responsibility, that's what makes you you know slightly special, because you can always think about what is good for you, but what is good for the team and. Then you keep moving forward with that decision is something that will make you, that will make people appreciate you, especially the ones who are part of the team. So you just spoke of youngsters. I mean, what advice would you give a youngster today who is getting into, um, into cricket or sport, any kind of competitive sport, maybe? The youngsters today, the only piece of advice uh, I would give them, which was very relevant, this person that sure. if you are able to control your mind. You can actually do a lot of things better in life. Because mind is the most powerful thing. We all think it's the physical. It's the physical. I am tired. I can't run more. It's the mind that is telling the body you can't run. That's right. 